Hello, I'm Michael. And I'm Jill. For Michael and Jill's Travel Adventures. Click below to subscribe to our channel. Okay, so as you know, we go on a bunch of cruises. Y'all should know this by now. But we also administer a lot of uh, Facebook groups. And right now we have two because we have a cruise in November on the Jubilee and a cruise in May on the um, Breeze. We still keep having the same questions come up. So uh, we're going to try to nail it into your heads what this information is and give you a little things. As you know, we are not we know a lot, but there are some stuff we still don't know. So if there's anything we don't answer or anyone else cannot answer, call Carnival, call your PVP. Um, if you can't get a home on the phone, uh, email them. But don't just rely on Facebook people to tell you the truth because they tell you all kinds of crazy information that's not true. Okay, what's first on our list? Basically, we're, what we're covering here are the differences in being on the ship in a hotel versus being on land in a hotel. So, first on the list, there is a very limited, uh, there's very limited pharmacy slash personal hygiene items available. It's kind of like going to a truck stop on land on a road trip and you go in there, you're going to get the little cartons of stuff and it's going to cost you um, a kit. So, just like our kidney. <laughs> I do have a funny story you want me to share or not. Go ahead. So, Michael had COVID. This may be TMI. It was my time of the month. I had packed, but not packed a lot because I things came earlier than they were supposed to, let's just say. Planned to go to Cozumel and uh, get me more stuff because the ones in the pharmacy were not the kind I like at all. And somebody caught COVID, so I had to call the front desk. And that was an embarrassing call. You get them to go to the store, uh, go to the store on um, the ship and get me some. It was pretty miserable a few days for me. But anyway, diapers, make sure you have plenty of diapers, uh, feminine products, anything you need, medicine, anything you can toothbrush, think of. Toothbrush, toothpaste, hair, brush, uh, Tylenol, And I know some of y'all be packing, I know anything. some of y'all be going on a seven day cruise and packing 45 outfits. So make sure you pack enough pads and enough tampons and enough baby diapers. Cause that's the things you can't do without. Next thing is outlets in the room. <clears throat> Real quick, this is not, again, not like a normal hotel. They're on Vista and below, uh, Vista class and below ships. There's going to be one outlet with possibly two, pl uh, two, prong, uh, two places to plug things in. We recommend that you bring a non uh, surge protection power strip to plug in your items that need electricity. Now, some of the newer ships do have USB ports stuck into the by the lamps, but charge phones. But the drain class and below don't. Uh, correct. correct. Okay. Anyway. Uh, well, some of the ones uh, have been retrofitted in some of the staterooms with those. One of the other things about the outlets is. Some, uh, we've seen some people complaining where their hair dryers, straighteners, or whatever don't work. And those are the high, high powered, high end devices. Almost always the low end devices work. So if you're going to take your hair straightener, uh, a different type of hair dryer, they, by the way, they have hair well, dryers uh, on at, ship. At Walmart, my. Um I have a ten dollar straightener. I think I bought from them because it's also my gym straightener. So in case it gets broken or somebody steals it, I'm not care. I have a beach waver thing that I think we paid thirty bucks at Target for that I use with my hair a lot. Those two work. So the cheaper they work. And the hair dryers, I would if you have really long thick hair and you're a woman, I would bring a hair dryer because that one's going to take you about six hours to dry your hair. So that's just the other thing. In there is what you can do in the rooms. A lot of people ask, well, is there a microwave in the room? Do we have coffee pots in the room? Can I bring my game system? Do they have refrigerators? Uh, basically game systems, if it's a portable all-in-one game system, don't see why you couldn't do that, but if you're going to try to hook that to the TV, all of the ports on the TVs are locked down, can't do that. That's a no-go, so don't bother trying to take those on. Coffee pots, um, 
and uh, microwaves, microwaves. Are, are not in the rooms. There's really no need to have a microwave because there's food available pretty much all the time. And what you have in the room for um, a refrigerator is a little tiny cooler. It's called a cooler, not a refrigerator, because it doesn't get as cold as an actual refrigerator. I have heard that once in a while microwave-wise, I have heard sometimes your rain steward will, but I don't bet anything on it. Don't plan your trip around that. Coffee, I will say, it's available about five o'clock in the morning sometimes around 4 30 i've gotten up um you just have to pay pay play chase the creamer they don't put all the stuff out at all this uh different spots all at once i will say usually on the back of the ship um there's a place what's that rush it's usually the seafood one where the seafood one is on the dream class at lower ships um it's usually back there they have most of the setup because most people get up to watch the sunrise back there also, while we're talking about things in the rooms, irons and steamers are not allowed in the uh, not allowed to be brought on at all. And I don't want to hear mm -hmm. any comments about I brought it on last week. They may have let you may have gotten it by with it, but don't be telling people that because guess what? Somebody that can't afford to lose their steamer may lose it because of you. So don't do that. Don't do that stuff on my video. Don't comment on that. No. Um, also. Um, are we on wine now? We are on wine. Okay, the great debate. This is not allowed. You may have snuck it in in your great grandma's purse. I don't care. It's not supposed to happen. We've asked John Held. He's told us specifically you can't take it. They're going to tell you you can. Don't spend your money on this. Spend your money on something this size. Take that. Okay? What wine okay. is available or what, excuse me. Wine, wine and champagne, you can dang on. But you have to be over the age of 21. This did come up in one of our cruise groups where somebody was gonna bring it into their kid's stroller and try to sneak it on a third bottle of wine. You cannot do that, 21 or older, okay? Don't Se be putting it in your baby's baby bag. 750 milliliter is the maximum size, which is a standard which, bottle. This of is wine. a standard bottle. They came in all different shapes. We have about three of them that are all the same size, but they're different shapes. But if it is a mixed with wine, wine cocktail, like that's this. not going to be allowed. And I don't, I think this is the Aldi's brand, or is that the real brand? That's the okay, that's the real brand. And we don't even like this. You know what's sad? We bought this for uh, to make a video for this, and I don't even like this stuff. But anyway, that's not allowed. Um, they're not, people are going to tell you in their groups they are allowed. I've seen the debates. I've seen them argue with us. Even he, uh, where he asked John Held, and John Held said no. He even did the snippet thing and put it there, and they still argued with him that that was they could you could do it. I don't. I want to be honest with you. And this is what irritates me. They keep taking stuff away from us because people keep doing it. The bottled water debate. Just saw what they were arguing on Facebook about it, and. The reason they took the bottle of water away is because you could fill it up with alcohol and that's what people were doing. So this is what, no, okay. So about, and, uh, about the wine, you can bring on, again, one, one bottle up to 750 milliliters per person over 21. You can also bring one uh, 12 pack, can be uh, mixed and matched. It can be canned of, water too. Of cans of soda or water uh, per person and that is per person period so even a toddler could bring on a 12 pack of soda if they want to uh, that does have to be in your carry-on cannot be in your checked luggage you can also re-up that at each port um this thing i got it from the red frog pub a few years ago it's got my greens in it right now that's not alcohol by the way um People are saying that you can get free refills on this. You cannot. You can go get it refilled, I believe. I've never had mine. Once I drank it, I took it to my room, cleaned it out, and never used it until I got home. But you have to pay for the drink that's in it, or it counts against your uh, drink limit on the drink cheers package. So all those cups are not refillable for free. They are refillable, but not for free. Okay. Okay, the other thing that we need to cover is the first drink not being free. Well. You mentioned water, water bottles. Let's, let's touch on that. You can bring uh, water cups 
they have bottled water available um, to be to, delivered to your room. But you're going to be paying high prices to do that. To be you honest. can go to the to the bar or pretty much any wait staff can bring you a bottle of water. You're going to pay for that, but you cannot bring bottled water on board. That is because people used to smuggle alcohol in those, and that is just not allowed anymore. And the bottled water, if you get it and you're on the cheers package, it is included in that for free. It doesn't count against your drinks either. Um, you can ask them. Usually when we drink on the ship, I will ask for a drink and then I'll ask for bottled water, and they can do that at the same time. So The last two things, we've got Wi-Fi and your... Uh, cell phones a lot of people ask well you know can I use my cell phone while I'm at sea the easiest answer is no you cannot use your cell phone at sea unless you want to be charged an arm and a leg for that your cell phone regular phone and texting does not work unless you get a package from your carrier while you're on the boat in the middle of the ocean boat ship as I always say, boat is a cute thing. So if you're going to, if you have to have your phone, you can choose to purchase the Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is for individual devices. You cannot share it at the same time. It can be shared amongst people, but you have to log out of it on one device to log into it on another device. So you can't use it at the same time. So the other thing is the hub app if you're going to uh, if you need to check to talk with someone text with someone it is easy to use the hub app it's five dollars per device uh, for the entire cruise no matter what the length of the cruise is and that allows you texting back and forth between you and the other person or persons uh, we forgot something after you get done with that okay Okay, so, well, are you done? Well, one, one more thing, the Hub app, a lot of people say that it doesn't work well. You have to have the Hub app open on your phone so that it will work. If you close the app, swipe it off, it's not going to receive the messages. So it has to actually stay open on your phone. And just like Wi-Fi anywhere else on the planet, doing this on the ship, is an IT nightmares. So there's some places on ships that it just doesn't work. So you may be in an area where you're not getting good signals. So uh, just be aware of that. Okay, something we forgot. We, we were brainstorming about this on our way home from shopping. But if you notice in the media lately, we're hearing a lot about different people, passengers getting left behind by non-excursions on different, it's not just carnival, it's different cruise lines. And that's one thing I do want you to make sure you research who you're making your, uh, if you're doing a non-carnival excursion. Because these people, I think they got the media involved. If they hadn't, they wouldn't have been reimbursed. And I think it cost one person upwards of six grand to get back to the ship. They met them at the next port, but they had quite a few people in their party. So I just want you to make sure when you do a non-carnival excursion that you do your research. I think the only time we've done them is in Cozumel where we go to the all-inclusive resorts which like Mr. Sancho's Paradise Beach and the reason we do that is because we take our little watches with us they're the analog uh, waterproof old-fashioned watches so it keeps ships time and we go back a few hours early just to make sure but um, they will not wait on you if you're non-carnival if it's carnival they will because we had one where we were late they did tell us to run for our life to the ship but like I said, those people got lucky because they got the media involved and they got reimbursed, but you're probably not going to. So make sure you research it and make sure it's somebody is a trustworthy operation. And like I said, we don't do them outside of Carnival. I mean, outside of Cozumel anywhere. So that's it. We just have uh, some, uh, a little bit to, to tack onto that real quick. <clears throat> Missing the ship in a port is a major thing. It's not like missing a bus in a city somewhere in the United States. You can't just take the next one. There is no next one. So you could, if you miss the ship, <clears throat> there are penalties for doing that. 
sometimes associated with that that you'll get charged for missing the ship because you've made them late or whatever. You also have to get yourself either to the next port to catch the ship or back home. So it's a major deal. And people don't, you know, people want to say, well, you know, cruise ships or, you know, this, that, or the other. The, the ship has a time to leave. They schedule that a year or so out. They know exactly to the minute what time they're supposed to leave and they cannot just wait on every single person. So make sure you are always on time back to the ship. We weren't trying to be butts about this stuff. We just want to give you the information because number one, if you're new, we don't want you to get your cruise run because you don't have what you need or you also get banned for bringing stuff you're not supposed to from Carnival. And that's just why we're the way we are. Um, it's just we've seen too many people have things happen to them and it's because they listen to people that weren't given the correct information out. And like I said, we don't give you information unless we know for sure. And we've either verified it with somebody at Carnival itself or John Hill. So. And the reason I'm talking so fast and trying to throw all the information out there is I'm trying to give you as much information as we can in the quickest amount of time. We don't want to make a 14-hour video and try to cram all this in. So with that being said, I'm Michael. And I'm Jill. For Michael and Jill's Travel Adventures. Bye. See you on the ship. Bye.